Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, back for a new week. Today is Monday, March the 18th. Great, another great, beautiful day. Um, like I said, it's officially spring. Uh, spring break is over for the young kids. Time for them to get their bus back in school. But uh, I'm just here back for another, you know, video. Um, uh, like for you guys who don't know me, uh, my name is Alec Cash. Uh, back here for another video. Just want to give my thoughts about uh, the Dallas Cowboys and the recent reports that have come out today. So it's been reported that the Cowboys are meeting with Randall Cobb, uh, former Green Bay Packer wide receiver, and also safety Clayton Gathers, who was formerly with the Indianapolis Colts last season. Uh, so the Cowboys are bringing those two guys in at their respective positions uh, and for workouts. So I guess they're going to come in see, you know, how these guys perform in different workouts, see if they're good fit for the team. And um, they're going to go from there. So we don't know exactly right now. It's still kind of early um, if, you know, if they're going to sign these guys or not. But, you know, Dallas Cowboys, they're always looking to add talent. 365 are uh, looking to find different players' acquisitions. So... That's where we stand right now. Do I think it's our good signings? I don't know too much about Clayton Gathers. I have to go, you know, go back and do some film on him. Go back and see how he played last season over the past couple of seasons. Have kind of heard that he's been a little bit injury prone kind of guy. So a lot of people not really too excited about him. But everyone's pretty much, you know, knows about Randall Cobb. Uh, Randall Cobb was drafted in 2011 out of Kentucky. He's been with the Green Bay Packers from 2011 all up until 2018 last season. He is currently a free agent, but he has been, you know, a decent player in the league. He's mostly played his time in the slot. He can't play on the outside. Um, he mostly, most Cowboy fans remember him in 2014 when him and Deontay, uh, him and Deontay, Devontae Adams were, you know, they put up both 100 yards receiving in a playoff game in 2014 when they played us in a uh, division round game in 2014. Um, so he's, that was when he was in his prime. He was, you know, one of the best slots in the league. He has, you know, been on the kind of decline the past three seasons. I know Jordan Nelson has been there for the past two, but he has been on the decline. I think he's about 30, 31, 31 or 32 years old. So he's, you know, still got some speed. He can still play. He can still, you know, be effective as a route runner in the slot and he can play on the outside. But the injuries have been a little bit plagued him the past couple of seasons in age. So, um, but the Dallas Cowboys decide to bring him in. He he can be a veteran presence with the young receiving core we got. I think our oldest player is probably our oldest receiver is probably Allen Hearns. I think he's about 27, 28 years old. So he's our oldest receiver. Other than that, we have Amari Cooper, who's 24. Galba's about 22, 23 years old. Cedric Wilson's about 21. So we have a young a young corpse at the receiver position. Beasley's gone. He was our oldest player at, at the receiver position. He's now gone. So Dallas Cowboys looking at replacements now. I know a lot of people were saying we're going to get one in the drafts. Maybe the Cowboys thinking differently. Maybe they're looking at, you know, Randall Cobb still can come in, don't have to be the number one guy or the number two option. He can still come in and be effective, be the third or fourth option. And he can still, you know, bring a veteran presence in the locker room. And he also be, you know, mentor the other guys on the field. So maybe that's what they're looking at. He's not probably not, probably not going to cost as much. They're looking at he probably could be better within one to two years rather than us spending a third, a second or third round pick on a slot position. We can bring someone like him in. He can play with us for a couple of seasons and then we could probably draft one in later rounds who could just kind of develop and learn. And then, you know, once maybe his contract is up, that, that guy can come in and fill that spot. So maybe that's what they're thinking. You know, who knows with Dallas Cowboys, you know how the Cowboys are. They always want headlines, but you know, they might say one day we're looking at this person, then next minute you don't hear nothing else about the person so maybe just to work out we don't know but maybe they have their eyes on randall cobb so they're bringing him in for a workout and they're bringing in clayton gathers so we're going to just see what's going to happen with these next couple of days you know later this week so it's a fresh new week don't know what can happen it's still some good players some good safety some good wide receivers out there on the free agent market the draft is coming up in about more than about a week a month and a week later so we still have plenty of time it's still early 
early in the off season. It has been draft year. We still have a month left to draft. So, like I said, everybody calm down. That, like you said, everybody just kind of just doing. This is where the most work is put in. So, like I said, it's not the finished product. We still have about four or five months until the season starts. So, we have plenty of time, you guys. So, in the Cowboys, they have some good money. They have some cuts to be made. It's still a lot of decisions to be made. So, everyone relax. Like they said, they just trying to just at least they're doing something. These guys, these these guys are not scrubs. These guys who have been in the league, they can play. So they're looking at that. They probably could be valuable to this team. You know, Clayton Gabs would be an upgrade from Jeff Heath, no doubt. So he could be a strong safety, and he could play that position way better than Jeff Heath. So even if we do sign him, calm down, guys. It's an upgrade from Jeff Heath. So relax, and it's not going to be for no five or six-year deal. It might be for about one or two years, and then they can still draft a safety in the third or fourth rounds, and they can let him develop and let him mentor, and then once that contract is up, he can be the future safety. So it's a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of moving parts. So you guys are still early, so let's relax. So just want to just give you my thoughts about that, about the two players and what's going on. So... Uh, like I said, we're going to just see within this week what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to see if these guys are going to get signed. And maybe one guy gets signed. Maybe neither. They might just want to take them in and just see if they have anything left in the tank. So let's just see. So you guys, uh, we, we, we just keep on uh, coming out with different videos. Going to just keep you guys updated on the reports. And uh, I'll be putting out uh, an article probably either today or tomorrow. So about, you know, I'll let you guys know. I'll put the links in the descriptions. And uh, we got some good content coming out for you guys. So just stay tuned. I have some good things coming for you guys, okay? So uh, just stay tuned. And you guys have a great rest of your day.